Okay, welcome to another example solves video. Let's start out by looking for the white cross pieces and we have them here, here, here and here. And I guess because they're all oriented, it's a fairly easy cross to do, but we just still need to figure out, I guess, a nice way to finger trick it. Um, and this isn't as easy as it seems. We can do something, I guess we could just do something like D prime, R prime, and then F2, D2, R2. Although those F2, D2, R2 moves are not particularly great to be doing um, for one-handed solves. Um, okay, so we've got this F2 L pair first. Then I see these, but I also see these. So I can do something like R prime, F, U prime, R, F prime to insert them both at the same time. And then next I have these two. So probably what I'll do is rotate like this, do R, U, R prime and then insert them like so, then do my OLL, and then PLL. Alrighty, for this next cross, um, our white cross pieces are here, 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 and back here. So we can just do something like uh, L, F prime, and then regrip, and then do something like U prime, R2, L2, like that to do our cross. Now, after that, we don't have many options. Probably, I do see these two, and I see this corner and this edge. Both of these will probably require a rotation, so I'll probably just go ahead and solve these two, like that. And as I was doing that, I saw these two, as I was doing that, I saw I could do these two. Um, probably I'll do them like this. U R prime, U prime, R two, U R U prime. And then the last uh, last corner and edge are here. Now if I wanna insert these and orient some edges, I can do U prime, R two, U, and then insert them like so. Um, unfortunately, we have quite a bad, um, quite a bad, uh, C-O-L-L case, so I can do a Nicholas here and that gives me a T permutation as opposed to doing the C-O-L-L which probably isn't great and or opposed to just doing a regular anti soon which would have given me a, a diagonal corner swap PLL which aren't very good for one-headed solves. Alrighty, next scramble. Um, I think red is decent to do here. So we can do something just like D2, L2, U, R prime, F. Now there are a few options for our first pair. Um, I did actually see this corner and this edge. Um, there's also these two. I'll probably go for these two first. Like that. Then I've got this corner and this edge, which I can do like so. Now, probably what I would do is these two, because this corner and this edge can be inserted into here without any rotations. And then I'll do the last F2L pair and orient um, some corners. Now, there are a few different options we can do for this insert. If we just insert it like this, we're going to get this um, OLL case. If we do a U, then we're going to get this OLL case. So depending on if you know like COLLs or ZBLLs or whatnot, then you can alter that. Alternatively, lastly, you can do winter variation. So like so. Um, I don't know precisely which one I would do there. I guess winter variation is a decent option if you're not, you know, super, if you don't know that many ZBLLs. Um, and then we've got J permutation. And uh, the J permutation from this angle with this AUF, so these two sol these two pieces are solved, is just the normal J permutation, except we do an L beforehand, and then we start doing a J permutation, and then it gets solved. Alrighty, next up. Um, Probably what I'll go for is the blue because I can see I have a decent um, first pair after I insert 
my two remaining blue cross edges. So I've got these two already good. Then if I insert this one, that brings these two to this position. And then I, I can just finish off the cross with DL2 like that. And then I'll go ahead and solve these two. Um, now after that, I'll solve these two first and then these two afterwards. Then these two. Now I've got these two pieces here. What I could do to orient some edges is do something like R prime U prime R. And now I have this case where I can insert the edge. And what I actually have on top is I have a CLS case basically. So all my, actually it's a case where all my last layer corners are oriented except for um, the final F2L well corner and this one down here. And another thing I noticed, this is kind of, yeah, really fancy, but I also noticed that all of the last layer edges are solved as well. So all of the edges are solved on this cube. So we can just do like a Megamink style five, uh, last five corners algorithm. So just inserting this one into this position, R prime D prime R, moving it across, R prime D R, U prime R prime D prime R, U prime R prime D R, like that. Okay, last solve in this video, um, and yeah, this is quite a good scramble. Um, red is quite good and green is quite good. Those are the two that I'd be looking to do in this solve. Um, also, blue, uh, a white could potentially be quite good if you can plan an extended cross, um, but I think I'll go with green just in this case because it's quite an easy, um, I can see the first pair pretty easily. So if we just do D, R prime, D, L, and then I can go ahead and solve these two. Um, unfortunately, at this point, there's not that much on offer. We can do something like do these two. Um, yeah, just insert them, unfortunately. Then these two in the back. Then these two. Um, now I can do OLCP. And then cancel into the U permutation.